Hey, how you going? I thought I'd do a video on how to craft your own GG um, body armor for spell suppression and physical reduction. Uh, this is the one I have at the moment, uh, the one I crafted. It's pretty sweet. It's got like 3600 armor and 3400 evasion, um, max spell suppress and max physical damage reduction. So this is what I ended up with and I'll tell you the process behind it. Um, so obviously you can see the base here is the Conquest Lamela, which is the highest tier evasion and armor base now. Um, it's 28% quality. Uh, these are pretty expensive. You can't um, can't make a higher quality base anymore, so that people have to find them. And uh, yeah, so that the supply there is pretty limited. So the price is expensive. Uh, you don't have to spend for the bigger base, but the, with the changes to how quality works, I think it's worth it. Uh, if you're making your GG base, for sure it's worth it um, because uh, quality has a more multiplier now rather than the increased multiplier. So it makes quite a big difference. Um, so this is what I got currently. Um, I'm going to use this as a dummy to show you what I did with this, basically. Um, so the most important thing when you buy your base uh, is to make sure it's at least item level 86. Um, that's so T1 spell suppression and T1 physical damage reduction can roll on it. If it's less than eye level 86, T1 spell suppress and T, T1 physical damage reduction will not be able to roll on it. So it has to be eye level 86 at least plus. All right, so this is also going to be a guide for like the GG version. You can probably take some things out of this um, and use it on uh, a less expensive craft as well. Uh, but this, uh, I'm going to talk about what I did to get this uh, particularly expensive version. You'll be looking to spend somewhere around uh, anywhere from 60 divines to 100 divines to craft this. Uh, and maybe 115 divines if you're a particular guild mate who uh, failed the fracturing nine times. <laughs> or failed it eight times and got it on the night. Uh, if you're particularly unlucky, it can be a very expensive craft. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so the first thing you want to do, you get your base, at least I level 86. Um, you also, yeah, if you do get the plus quality base, um, I'll, I'll, uh, let you know some wrinkles with that too, but you can just start with just a normal, normal base. Uh, you want to roll spell suppression on it, uh, with alterations, uh, T1 spell suppression. And hopefully I've got enough alterations because they're very expensive. Uh, well, I should have enough gold to buy some more, but maybe not. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so it turns out I do have enough alterations. So that rolled T1 spell suppression. Okay, now if you're... Um, and another mod, which is fine. So what we're looking to do is we're looking to fracture the chance of spe suppressed spell damage onto the item. Um, to fracture something, it needs to have at least four mods. So we're going to make this four mods by regaling and then exalting. Regal and then exalt. We don't really care what the other mods are because we're just going to try to fracture the spell suppress. And if we don't, then the item's bricked basically anyway. So uh, cool. So I've just got four mods on it. Now I'm not going to actually use it because it's a waste of five div. But just imagine I fractured it. <laughs> just imagine. Um, so, you know, there's a three and four chance I miss, right? Because, yeah, what, I've got four mods on there. It's a one and four chance that the fracturing all pits. Okay, you can read it there. Fracture a random multi modifier on a rare item with at least four modifiers, locking it in place. Right, boom. So, okay, imagine if I missed. Um, if you're using an expensive base like I did, then you'll buy another expensive base um, with the same quality, 28% or whatever. You do this, you miss with that. Um, you can actually have a chance at getting a new... Um, it, with your two bricked um, two bricked bases at getting a clean new base, which is actually how I crafted this, by recombining the previous two bases. So you are losing the expensive one expensive base, um, but the way recombining works is it chooses a 50-50% chance to choose one of the two bases. Now, if you've got two good bases in there, um, then it's going to just choose one of the good bases, right? And then come out. Now, if there's if um, there's two fractured 
mod if there's a fractured modifier in each of the bases, um, there's a chance it also gives you a, uh, a fractured modifier of one of them. So you could come back with a bricked base, but there's also a, a chance that it could come back with a clean base without a fractured modifier. So that's what I did to get mine. I had two bricked bases, recombined them to get a clean base, and then fractured the 22 spell suppress from, from there. Also, with the spell suppression, if it rolls 20%, um, I divide it up to 22% and then go for fracturing. You don't have to do that. You can just keep spamming ults until you get 22%. But I think they'll probably end up actually more expensive. And especially with how expensive it is to buy it with gold. Um, a bit more annoying to do. So I divide it up to 22% and then I go for the fracture. Um, so yeah, after you've fractured it, it's pretty um, straightforward. So what I do from there is... After the fracture, I go and I roll reforge physical um and it takes i got a i got a little bit cheaper mine i only had only got a t2 resistance on there but it only takes like one div worth of rerolls to get um eight percent actually no five div of rerolls um to get eight percent additional physical damage reduction with a t1 resistance so that's what you roll there you just you can just spam it so i'm just going to roll over this until you get um uh, 8% physical damage reduction. I don't think I've got enough juice for it. Actually, it doesn't really. Can't really see. Okay, so the 8% physical damage reduction I just got there. Um, you see? And then imagine that's a T1 resistance, and then the suffixes are done. So imagine that chaos resistance is T1. The suffixes are done then, okay? Um, and that's the main thing. As soon as you got the suffixes done, uh, you just uh you like your your that's the hardest part of the craft done pretty much wow kind of but uh, yeah it's the hardest part the, the most expensive part of the craft done um and then you just have to work on your prefixes so the way you work on your prefixes uh, is you put one uh exact thing on it you don't have to put it either as well uh, and this makes it uh exact dominant uh, and then you spam Chaos Orbs, basically. Eldritch Chaos, which will reroll the prefixes. So I'll spam this. So you see at the moment the prefixes are mod uh, maximum life, right? So let's say I use this, rolls that, got dank maximum life, so I've got an extra 10 more, which is a huge upgrade, right? T10 life from T11. And um, and you just basically keep roll. Uh, you, you, you just craft it with the chaos and alts and exults so you know you, you have like a one in 90 chance to hit two t2 t um defensive modifi modifiers which is like plus armor and and uh percent armor so it's a pretty low chance so i think in the prefixes you kind of just get what you get um um i just wanted the armor so i rolled over like t1 life in that with this but um if you don't want just want the armor, you can settle with like with having like a T1 life and like a T2 like a T2 uh, armor and then um, and then just benchcraft the remaining whatever you're missing like the hybrid uh, life and armor. So that's um, the prefixes don't really it's, it's really up to you what you do with the prefix. Uh, if you want more life, you go for that. If you want more armor, you go for that. Uh, I wanted more armor so I could drop my determination and then pick up the um uh, the life mastery which gives you 15 percent increased life if your body armor doesn't have life on it so that's what i did uh, with my particular build but a lot of builds uh, like to have the life and also you know life spin so buffed that it's a great thing to have um so yeah that's all you just um use chaoses annuls and exalts uh these eldritch ones eldritch chaos you can also use normal exalts but the eldritch ones are cheaper so yeah um, and that way your suffixes are locked and they're not in danger anymore and it's basically just a matter of time for you to get the, your perfect body armor pretty much so after doing that i temp i used a tailoring orb on it uh, to get this uh, enchant on it uh, uh, it's not the ideal enchant for my for my armor but it's just um you know it, it's it's good it's fine um but you don't have to go to that stage. Uh, these cost about 90 divine, uh, sorry, 90 chaos each, or aroundabouts, maybe 80 chaos each. Um, 
and there's a massive list of things that can do. Don't six your, don't six link your armor uh, before you use this because it can break the links. So if uh, if you do use it, you don't have to. That's completely optional and only for later on, really. Um, yeah. So that's uh, that's how I crafted it. And then of course I just used the the Aldrich and the uh, uh, so the Eda and the Exarch um, embers to to roll the implicits there. Uh, physical damage as lightning. These are only greater greater rolls. I haven't really bothered um I'm trying to roll for the for the high tier ones yet, but that'll come later. Uh, later on when, when I'm running out of things to upgrade. So yeah, that's that's how I how I did it. Fracture spell suppression. Uh, and then reforge physical uh, until you get a good resist. Uh, which locks in your suffixes, which is the most important thing. And then you just basically take take the time to roll your prefixes with the Eldritch Chaos, Eldritch Annals, and Eldritch Ex Exults. Cool. If you've got any questions, ask me in the comments. And please like and, like and subscribe if you want. And thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. See you.